Okay, so this is the kind of tabletop aquaponics setup. This is a small tank I made out of glass that I had cut at a glass door to the dimensions that I thought would fit into one of my kitchen windows, but I was off by, by about an inch, so put it into this big bay window. And you can see all I did was take a piece of coroplast and I cut it to make little squares that I could insert these little plastic pots into. And I'll pull that out again so you can see the pots. I just uh, I just drilled them so they have plenty of uh, water flow through the through that expanded clay medium. And you can see the goldfish is coming for breakfast. But um, it's been working out really, really well. It's I found that uh, Thai basil sprouts incredibly well. In a matter of a week, you begin to get roots. Um, these, these roots, I think they're kind of gone as far as they're going to go. They've, this, this plant's been in here, or these plants have been in here for a month now. These little starts came from that plant about a week ago. And you can see that they're already um, doing nicely in terms of their, their sprouting roots. This is um, this is sweet basil that I put in just a few days ago. I wouldn't expect any roots to be happening here, but um, but I think they will root shortly. And these are some. A tom this is a tomato cutting, and this is a little volunteer tomato that showed up in one of our other garden beds outside. And here's another kind of uh, kind of basil, the top of the plant we picked up at the. Uh, gardening center the other day. So works really well. So this has been in place now for about uh, since really since mid-December and it's now early June and uh, the only power we're using is um, a very small pump that we got from Petco and that's just to uh, put oxygen into the system once a week, usually, I, uh, I take a sponge and I wipe down the inside of the glass because being in the window here with no blocking of the light, it grows algae pretty quickly. And um, I wipe it out with a sponge just to clean the glass so I can see everything better. But at that time, the, all the fish go into kind of a feeding frenzy of gobbling up algae. Um, other than that, I feed them flaked fish food like I guess most people do. We've had a number of fish come and go in the past, since December. The ones that seem to hold on are this this one goldfish. Um, we we lost a catfish, uh, no, an algae eater. But this catfish has been here right from the beginning. This little this little guy right here. And we had I can't remember what these little guys are called, but they're uh, we had five to begin with, and one by one the others all died. We had very, very good luck with the snails, which I can't see right now. There's a mystery snail through there. And oh, there's the uh, the black, I think it's called the nerite. And we even had some snail eggs on the glass last week, but they've all disappeared. So hopefully some of those hatched and dropped down to the bottom. But um, so seem, it seems like a pretty stable little, little system. We've had different plants come and go. We've had uh, s lettuce and scallion and other things and we just at this point I'm just trying basil because it seems to root so fast and I love pesto so 